Trish. This is going to be your weekly horoscope for February uh, February 3rd through February 9th. Um, Mercury does a couple transits this week, and it's really been messing with me. Um, anytime there's issues, uh, every anytime Mercury crosses Neptune for me, it gives me problems, and I can't talk. Okay, so this week, Venus moves to Capricorn, and that's making us all get serious about our desires and needs in relationships. Okay, that's partnerships and friendships and business relationships, any kind of partnership, basically. Mercury can cause us to be misunderstood at this time, ultimately leading to enlightenment, a breakthrough, or total destruction of outdated ideas, beliefs, and new information disclosures. There's a new moon in Aquarius, and that's going to make us ask ourselves, where do I belong in the world? Um, how do I show up? Who am I as an individual, and how do I serve humanity? How do I connect? Okay, It's time for your vibe tribe to assemble, Okay, or time for you to assemble your vibe tribe. There's a T-square that exits uh, through Mars and Aries, and that can change the direction of your life uh, or your destiny. Jupiter can also create a little bit of luck through some courageous changes. You decide. It's all about what energy you focus on. You can be the victim or you can be the victor. Sunday, the moon moves into Aquarius, but it's not an exact new moon until Monday. Okay, The energy is idealistic, tolerant, and you'll find an interest in serving humanity and helping others. You might be feeling a little detached from your emotions at the moment, which can only help when using the law of attraction or some other philosophical idea or belief. It can also help dealing with emotions or problems in a rational, logical way as you're able to step back and view something from a different approach. Okay, Your persuasiveness is boosted, <clears throat> Excuse me, and you're feeling independent and like socializing. Okay, Aquarius is the sign of friendships and social circles, so you may be spreading some love among friends now after a period of isolation and recuperation. Your perspective is really broad, and you kind of don't want to be bothered with semantics at the moment. Venus moves into Capricorn today, and you are cautious in love, cold, even calculating. Maybe a little bit of manipulation. <laughs> Hopefully this is in a good way and not meant in a manipulative way. Okay, If you're already in love, this could signal a time of loyalty, faithfulness, and dependability. If you're not with somebody who's already rich, you will be making sure your mate has material comforts and security. Okay, You're straightforward. You get your point across without piling it on thick. You can be sexually involved and detached at the same time. It's like a matter-of-factly attitude. It can seem kind of cold, but it, it really isn't, okay? It's just hidden. <laughs> There's no extras. It's, it's, uh, Capricorn is like very stoic and well-controlled, okay? So you can be sexually involved and detached at the same time, okay? You can be jealous and possessive, and rejection can turn your heart to ice, although... Your charm can be used to further your interest, if you want, that is. I got lost. <laughs> oh, you can be quite popular at this time. Uh, you could also be involved in creating something or have a business where you craft something, uh, possibly a tradesperson even. And your partner or lover could also help in furthering your career, probably by marketing your talents through conversation. Thanks, babe. <laughs> On the flip shadow side, there could be arguments, restlessness, and short tempers could flare. There's nervous tension. Someone could take things out of the safe zone and cross into absurdity, um, just perverting something. <laughs> and I don't mean sexually, although it could be sexually. Um, they cross into absurdity via perversity of issues or emotions, like they're carrying, they can carry it way too far okay so watch those extremes and inflexibilities this can be a period of healing from baggage and that can prove emotionally exhausting okay and there is a risk of scandal or disappointment through women or because of a woman <laughs> shame 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 on you okay numbers for that day are 3 and 17 so this is about ideas information um 17 equals Eight. So this is something that, that leaves a lasting impression, okay? In addition to that, uh, we also have a 12 for the year. So there's, uh, this is a year of surrendering, a year of authenticity, a, a year of beliefs, uh, ideas, and information. And then we have two 18s, which is about 
healing, setting, setting an example through healing, purging something, unconditional love, and an ending. Endings. Monday, we have the new moon in Aquarius. This is a very purpose-driven, visionary energy. You can be focused intently. You could have a lot of ideas, and you're ever the humanitarian, okay? You're interested in the unknown, the strange, and you're a little strange yourself. <laughs> you can express yourself among your friends now, and this will attract new friends whom you can be more authentic with, okay? Vibe tribe. Your honesty will open doors for you, okay? And... With Mercury, I think Mercury is still in Aquarius, so you can you can say some shocking things, <laughs> say some things without any filter. Uh, I guess it's gonna it should be okay, you know. If people truly love you, whatever you say, it's gonna be like, what did you just say that? <laughs> yeah, you went there. Okay, so <laughs> your honesty will open doors for you, and it'll bring you valuable allies that will have similar philosophies. Uh, as you okay your vibe tribe think vibe tribe people that have the same ideals as you okay it's also a good time to give your social social circle some love okay and let friends know how much they mean to you by spending some time with them someone could be a little out of balance uh, they could be stubborn about it and self-willed okay because there's deep-rooted habits and obsessions that are going to have to eventually be dealt with we may feel misunderstood and at the same time have trouble understanding the reasons and repercussions of our actions. Misunderstandings can change the path of a certain relationship also. Okay, taking responsibility for your errors in judgment is pertinent to healing. It is a challenge to deal with others now as we can be a little impatient and have trouble staying out of negative, obsessive thinking patterns. You may feel as if you're at the end of the rope or as if you're losing your mind. It may cause you to pull away from others and you might choose to isolate yourself or you could be isolated. Make sure that you think before you speak or act as this could permanently change feelings in a relationship, partnership, or friendship, especially if one person thinks that they know better than the other. Okay, smarty pants. There will be clarity as we begin to move into healing and there will be an opportunity to express how you truly feel. Just be patient, okay? Rome was not built in a day numbers for that day are 4 and 18 and we have additional transits of 15 20 20 so there's clarity about healing there's clarity about where what we're manifesting there's uh it's very clear that you need to ground yourself through purging something and healing so yes we are manifesting healing and it's uh, with clarity or it's clear that uh there's healing being manifested. You know, either way, it's, it's all basically the same. Potato, potato. It's still a uh, chunk of carbs. <laughs> Tuesday, the moon moves to Pisces, and it's going to be joining Neptune and Chiron, okay? And it's bringing extra sensitive, compassionate energy. Pisces is about connection, the collective, dreams, psychic vision, and spirituality, okay? And it's also about creativity. So at this time, you're very understanding of the human condition, and you might be daydreaming a lot, and it could hard to be. It could be hard to get clarity at the moment. There could be a little bit of confusion there. Um, the very next line: there could be confusion or delusion, victim mentality, aka uh, lack of clarity, or you could feel disconnected and out of touch with the rest of the world, or. You may be wanting to escape the harshness of the world through drugs or alcohol, okay? Pisces can work tirelessly and selfishly for others, especially your mate. So you're going to find it easy to touch others emotionally at this time, and your intuition is heightened. Okay? Be open to the future and the changes coming. You could attract luck through these changes now. Your energy and your health should be good or improving at this time. Okay, so Pisces, about the dreams and the visions. You could be having visions. You could be having dreams. Uh, a lot of the people I know, they're having crazy dreams. So this may, um, I, th I think it was, uh, so, if I'm not mistaken, two or three of the air signs had told me that they're having crazy dreams. So it, it's funny because Pisces is the dreamer, but... Every time we roll into some kind of dream cycle, it seems like the same air sign friends are having weird dreams. <laughs> okay, so 
there's this Pisces Aquarius connection there. And Neptune is still in Pisces, so that is definitely dreamy energy. Maybe the air signs will be having dreams because Pisces is second house. Security. Hmm. Interesting. I don't know. I'm not an astrologer. <laughs> I'm just doing the general astrology. I'm giving you the energy that's here. Okay, interesting. Um, I'm not even going to bother to go over the other transits, but I just find that weird that the, um, since Pisces has been, or since Neptune has been in Pisces, a lot of my friends have been having weird dreams. Okay, even I, even I had some weird dreams, which I won't mention. So numbers for that day, Tuesday, are 5 and 19. Okay, so basically there's changes, there's beginnings and endings. Um, it's boundaries and confidence. It's gifts and surprises. Completion of a cycle, holding space for the new and moving forward with new beginnings. And of course we have, uh, around this time, the numbers of the uh, month have changed. So this month's number is 2, which is about teamwork, working together, harmony, um, and balance. Okay, then we have the universal year number, which is 12, which is about surrendering and coming from a different perspective. And then we have the universal month number, which is now 14. Okay, that's social media. So it, it, it also equals five. So we have a double five. So there's gifts, surprises, changes, confidence, expression, um, beginnings and endings to boundaries and new beginnings. Um, finally, working together authentically. Wednesday, we deal with problems effectively and we might prefer to be secluded so we can work things out quietly without interruption, okay? You're trying to, you're trying hard to be diplomatic, yet the, there's this conservative niche, uh, nature that shows up, okay? You're feeling sympathetic to other people's plights right now. We have numbers of 6 and 20, so there's clarity in how you need to be of service to others. Okay, 6 is the caregiver's number. It's doing what you love. It's showing your love through service. So it's clear that you need to help people now. You need to take care. Thursday, there is a T-square that might force you to change your game plan. Okay, It's North Node and South Node, and the exit point is at Mars and Aries. Okay, So that's forcing us to take action to risk it all and be brave as we face the unknown okay there will be changes whether or not you choose to make them or you are forced to make them these changes will bring unexpected luck and it, it might make you really really popular um in a good way or in a bad way that depends but you need to have courage and take action to stand up for what you believe in okay the transits aid in forceful debate or discussion so there might be something going on that you'll hear about on TV or you hear about on TV today from the previous day when we had that, you know, the 14. Um, social media, there's going to be a lot of um, talking about boundaries and expressing ourselves in social media. Okay, we're talking Facebook, we're talking Twitter, we're talking the news, we're talking blogs, we're talking vlogs, um, <laughs> video, writing, um, Art, everything is going to stand for something, okay? It's not just a willy-nilly willy strokes of the pen or the paintbrush. Everything is symbolistic and means something, okay? So at this time, you want to watch your finances, okay? Your judgment could be a little bit off, and you could be feeling a little lazy, or you could be having trouble concentrating and getting things done. You also might have another opportunity to assert your boundaries in something, um, and that's going to reinforce your self-respect, okay? And the universe will encourage you through synchronicities. We like when they show us the signs. Okay, so numbers for that day. We have five sevens. <laughs> we have seven, 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 seven. What does that mean? Enlightenment or a breakdown of an authority or it's sudden realizations, okay? Put it together with the T-square that exits in Mars and Aries. It's suddenly realizing that you have to make a change or sudden enlightenment, okay? Seeing things clearly and finally understanding. We have additional transits. We've got 21 and 12, okay? That's about expressing authenticity. Um, so whatever enlightenment or awakenings uh information downloads psychic downloads or 
realizations that you get today, it's going to be moving you towards um, expressing your uh, more of your authenticity, okay? And then we have 18 and 18, which is healings, endings. It's setting an example through healing. It's stepping up and... 7, 21, and 18. It's about expressing the things that you've come to realize as the truth. It is now your truth, okay? And because of the social media component, you're wanting to spread that information or tell other people what you've experienced. Friday, you could feel mentally or physically tired after some kind of emotional drain. This could leave you moody or aggravated about conditions in your love relationships. Carelessness and self-indulgence. Carelessness and self self-indulgence will not help matters. Okay, it's better to come to terms with the reality of your situation and wait for another day to act. Everything is temporary, even feelings. Numbers for that day are eight and twenty-two. Okay, so there's. Peace, harmony, uh, manifestation, there's legacy, it's leaving a lasting impression. So it's about having peace, okay? Acting like a leader and calming yourself down, <laughs> basically. Saturday, the moon is in Aries and that's bringing energy, optimism, and a willingness to blaze trails and fight for what is right and what is fair. Leaders will be stepping up, taking action, and asserting themselves with bold, brazen courage. And there could be some success in business or finance, and some could have low energy and find themselves constantly blocked from progress. The worst part, they're starting to recognize that they do it to themselves, okay? Nobody, nobody beats us up better than ourselves, okay? We are our worst critics. And these transits on this day will help to illuminate the, truth, illuminate the truth about our shortcomings and failures. Okay, sorry, I had to pause you guys for a second. Um, where was I? This energy is depression or some other depression-related health issue, something chronic. <laughs> this could bring up thoughts of suicide. Don't do it. Talk to someone, okay? This could leave some feeling worthless and very critical of themselves, okay? So make it a point to check on all your friends at this time, especially the ones who have been really down lately because um, you need to let them know that they're not alone, okay? They're not alone in this and they are worth a lot. You need to let them know, you know, with the Newman and Aquarius, it, it would also be nice if you touch base with your friends anyway just to show them a little bit of love. Everybody needs love. So, right now what's happening is the past is confronting and colliding with the present. And if you can pull your shit together for the next month or so, you're going to emerge feeling better, like a new person. Okay, so you fall deep into the bottomless rabbit hole pit, sinking to the depths, only to rise, like the phoenix, after a period of emotional and physical exhaustion, okay? Remember to own your shit, and remember to forgive and love yourself, okay? Uh... You're going to emerge with a new attitude, okay? you got a new attitude coming, <laughs> attitude adjustment. That's what's happening, and adjustments, as you know, takes a period of time. It takes time. This is not an instant. This is a process, so trust in the process because the change is being made. There could be trauma, drama, or loss related to women and children. Um, one of the partners in a love relationship could impulsively express dissatisfaction. Um, other than that, it's a good day to take a, take a road trip or to read something, especially if you need some quiet time or if you need to break up the monotony. Okay, so that day we have, oh, okay. So we have 1111 and we have 2020. So it's about the manifestation portal being very, very clear and the day numbers are nine and 23. So it's about manifesting new boundaries, um, ending old ones, having clarity on where you stand, having the courage to stand up and coming from a place of unconditional love. Excuse me, I lost my place. 
Okay. What to watch out for this week? There could be issues with your calves, ankles, Achilles tendon, your circulatory system, your bones, your back, your spine, knees, teeth, face, sinuses, brain, eyes, ears, and all things that hang on your head. Okay, guys, so that is your weekly horoscope for February 3rd through February 9th. Love you guys. See you next time.